There certainly is, Andrew. And there's been a steady flow of people here throughout the day. I want to kind of show you where I am. I'm inside Connellsville Middle School, and there are four tables set up here, and each table has the name of an organization, and those who need help can go station to station to get it. What do we need to do to help make sure things don't get worse? We can help you replace any of the documents that you lost. From table to table, How many did you have? lined up around this room, there is help. Our washer, our dryer, our door to the cellar's off. For people such as Susan McPhail. I wasn't home at the time, but I could have lost my family. And Bonnie Prinky. They are two of the 150 families who have suffered from the flood. They're among those whose homes are filled with mud, their belongings damaged, and in Prinky's case, her home is destroyed. And it happened while her family was there. Prinky says her boyfriend called her for help. He said, call 911, we're, we're almost driving. The frightening stories and the stories of loss fill this room, as do the stories of hope. It's been overwhelming, actually, at the, uh, both uh, the loss for the people and also the fact that so many people want to help. And it's those people, everybody's pulling together, that have brought smiles to both McPhail and Prinky. I'm just thankful today for a new beginning. Offering assistance, direction, and a kind word. All right, God bless. While all of these volunteers are helping here, there are ways you can help as well through donations. Officials tell me that they want donations, but they want to be clear on what they need and what they don't need. They do not need any more clothes or cleaning supplies, but they certainly do need those large bins to help people pack up the salvageable belongings. They also, of course, could take donations um, of money because they'll need things such as furnaces and other things as the days develop. So you can certainly help by doing that. This resource center, though, will be open for the people from 10 o'clock tomorrow morning until 6 p.m. Reporting live in Connellsville, Fayette County, Marcy Cibriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.